Here's all the figures in the Venom Pool Wave. This is Hunter Collector here with a, another Marvel Legends review. And here we're going to be building the Venom Pool figure and go over the details and articulation. And yeah, and here's all the figures in the Wave. So uh, Venom is by himself. He doesn't come, come with any pieces with him, but he's part of the Wave, I believe. Um, then we got Carnage that came with the head. We got Miles Morales with the uh right uh, no left hand i believe right uh, n yeah left hand left arm i mean and morbius with the right one and then phage with both legs and then ghost spider with the torso and swords so here we're gonna start with the torso first and then we'll grab the head from carnage pop that bad boy on there just like that and then we'll go with the here oh. oh come on there we go it was a little stuck there maybe this way yeah there we go that's better that looks much better and here we'll pop his right arm in just like that and then the other arm here from miles morales and i drop it just like that pops right in all right, and then the legs from Paige, I'll let them fall there. Just pop those bad boys in there. And there's his right one. And then here is his left one. And then I'll probably have him holding the swords here. So I'll pop, or I'll, oh, and that's a separate piece if you didn't tell there. <laughs> uh, we'll go over that here in a second though. After I put this arm in, or hand in. Which one? There you go. I think it's probably this way. I don't know if it matters, but... Yeah, I don't think it matters to me. I don't know. Can't tell. Don't know. Oh, that's the wrong, wrong hand. Whoopsies. Oh, that was almost bad. Okay. Move those guys. <laughs> Let's see if I can pop that hand in there like that. I think I put it in the wrong way. Yeah, I think I did. Or maybe I didn't. Uh, the, arm, the, the little braces are a little conf confusing for me. I don't know how to actually put it in. All right, I'm just gonna go with that. There we go, it's popped in. All right. And then, oh, and a shoulder pop out. And then you need his swords here for his back. I believe you just pop that in like this. I don't know. I believe it's supposed to be like that. I guess he's supposed to fit along the straps here. Like, I guess pour it in like that. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can do that. Maybe bring it up, put my finger between them. Pinch, no, that's not working. All right, let's try this again. Come on. All right, a little off camera work here. All right, I was able to get the swords in there and the holder in there. So you, first off with the accessories, he does come with extra hands. So he comes with just two pairs of clawed hands. You get that nice leather looking texturing there. I like the te I like the sculpt there. It's pretty cool. And then these, um, I'll actually go over the articulation here in a bit. And you also get these like little nails here. So it's pretty cool. And you get that sword holding ones with the same little sculpts going on throughout the hand, like leather. So that's pretty cool. Just like Deadpool. And then here's Deadpool here, or Venom Pool, I should say. Um, so. There's a lot of detailing going on here. So you get the face here, you get the like a venom look eyes, but also like uh, Deadpool. So you get the white eyes there, regular white eyes, and then 
for the black part it looks like venomize and there's staples there and then the red parts are like like sculpted to make it look like it's leather and the face oh my goodness it actually looks like it's wearing a mask though because that like look at the wrinkles and stuff here that looks sick yeah, it has that purple slimy tongue there with a little bit of black wash going through there. The teeth look great. You get that other cool stuff and you get that little uh, thing in the back of uh, his head there like Deadpool usually does. And then you get a little bit of stitching or lining around there. So that's cool. Uh, and then you get more of the leather texturing through the other parts of him for the red parts so that's cool and you get a lot of wrinkles going through this one this torso and it actually looks real and camera and in person kind of and then for the black parts it just looks like i mean it just looks like it's just black paint over it so i mean it doesn't bother me that much uh and then you also do get staples around here so it kind of looks like it's trying to hold the black pieces and the red pieces together and then the arms here, you get more of that. The staples going on there. More of the uh, leather looking texturing there. And you get, like I said before, while I was struggling to take them off, you get these like little bracelets here. You get that little chain. Um, they did a good job there and the soft plastic. So that's cool. And you get this little strap here. So you get this like little gray part here. I believe you should be able to take it off if you manage to. Uh, I don't think it's through this way, but it's through the back. But I'm not going to. Um, but if you want to try that, you can. Um, and then you get like these little fangy pack things, I guess, whatever you want to call them around the shoulder. You get sword holsters there, which were a little bit frustrating to get on. And you get swords here. I'll take them out here and look at them in here in a sec. And then his belt, you get that Deadpool logo belt here, and all these little pa uh, pockets or packs here, they want to call, whatever you want to call them, here on the belt. And you get his like little holster or another pocket thing there for his thigh. And you get more of that black uh, leather with the red stapled together. Same deal on the other side. These are separate pieces, but you won't be able to take them off because then you would have to take this off. Uh, more of the leather looking texturing there. The shoes look cool. Yeah, these are pretty cool actually. I like them a lot. I like the little sculpt for them. Uh, you get a little bit of black bleeding through there, but it's not bad. I, I can really only see it through camera. You barely notice it through in person, but one that does kind of gets my eye here is this one. But I think they did a really good job here with the sculpting and stuff like that. The only thing that I will say about it, I think is, I guess the legs. The legs are a little bit too small for him, I feel like, and it's kind of hard to balance or give him a good pose. There we go. So yeah, that's it. And then we'll take out the swords here. We'll take out one of them. So we got huge swords here. So it's one big, big square thing for him. And then like the little grip there. So these guys are, pretty big and it kind of looks like it's kind of like damaged and not it's not like the actual sword is not damaged but i feel like like in the situation he was in it kind of looks damaged because if it's not smooth it's kind of like bent or messed up kind of so he's used these and then you just want to have him holding them in like that pour it in like that and then bam you got him with that so yeah and then let's go over his articulation here once I get the sword out, so his head can move down that much, up that much. He can look left and right. Uh, he has very little head pivoting, so it's not going to bother me that much. His shoulders can move out just a little bit, uh, and he goes down that far. You get 360 rotation around the shoulder. He has bicep swivel without that thing rotating there but yeah he does have a bicep swivel he has single jointed elbows so he gets pretty much 90 degrees there um so for the ones that are sword gripping hands they 
hinge side to side, but since these are kind of in the way, so like, yeah, they hinge side to side there. I'm not gonna do it with that one, but uh, for the clawed ones, they hinge up and down, so they go down that far. This kind of gets in the way, like I said, still up that far, and you get 360 rotation with both of them. Uh, it does have an app crunch, so you can go forward just a little bit, not a whole lot, backwards a little bit. Uh, he does have a waist swivel, so you can do the 360 rotation around there. His legs can kick out just a little bit there. He can kick forward a bit and backwards just a little there. He does have a thigh cut, and I'm about to, I think, pop it off by accident. Uh, he does have double jointed knees there. His ankles can hinge down that far. Come on, hinge up. Oh, there we go, that far. Pretty good for a build a figure on, and he has good ankle pivot. So I think this figure does is really cool. I like the sculpting, I like the paint apps for it. They did really good. Um, the only problems I guess I have is kind of just the articulation mainly. You get a little bit of mist painting, but it's not, it's not gonna bother me a whole lot. Um, but I think that look and stuff looks awesome. I love it a lot. I would just say the articulation is a little limited. Uh, and I think the proportions th for the legs are a little off. I think they could have done a little bit bigger or a little bit longer just so that way that he could stand up stably because it's kind of tough to get him standing up straight, especially with all the weight on the top. It's going to get off balance pretty easily. So you got to get it perfectly. Um, but uh, yeah, I think he looks sick. Um, and they did a good job on him. But besides that, that's all I've got.